welcome to Vault 1541. Today we're going to look at starting lineup talking baseball. I'm holding the camera right now, so I apologize, it's a little shaky. I want to show you around the table though before I put it on a tripod to play the game. So this is an electronic toy. It's released in 1988. It's the obviously the stadium-shaped object in the center. I'm gonna move in with the camera. May autofocus a little slow around the uh, wrong object sometimes. Right. Now the game has a lot of stickers that users can uh, apply themselves if they want to. A lot of advertisements. So it's a pretty good uh, stadium rendition. Yeah, it's got a bunch of lights like most electronic games. You'll see these in a minute when I play it. The speaker is right there behind home plate. And it takes cartridges. The cartridges go right where those darker gray panels are. You can pop them off. Alright, over here I've got the uh, documentation. The camera will focus. There we go. Got the manual. And the sheet is for the Hall of Fame team. Now the Hall of Fame team comes with a cartridge packed in with the system and it also comes with the American League and National League All-Star teams. But those are built into the system and those have baseball cards. The Hall of Fame is the only team without baseball cards. I assume that was a licensing thing to get actual photos of the old players. So you need this piece of paper. If you lose it, well you can still play but you'll, you'll have a hard time making substitutions because you need the numbers that go with the players. All right, so we also got figures here. Now, the starting lineup figurines are from Kenner. They also released in 1988. These were pretty popular. They lasted until 2001, whereas the electronic game really only lasted a year. They never made cartridges behind, uh, beyond the uh, first year. So here's Don Mattingly and Wade Boggs. They're Don Mattingly in the package, Bo Jackson, Jim Abbott, and part of the package over to the left is Kirby Puckett making a diving catch, and Bob Gibson in the package, Cooperstown Collection. And the Cooperstown Collection did come with cards, but those were much later than this game, so they must have gotten the Hall of Fame license later. So, down here, you can see cartridges. There's four to, uh, three to four teams per cartridge. And behind Jim Abbott is the packaging for one of the cartridges. You can see a $12.99 price tag. I couldn't confirm that, that was the suggested retail price, but it most likely was. Although I think I got most of the cartridges on clearance. I, only, I have six of the eight. They made eight in all. And I think the game cost $99.99, which is quite high for 1988. It's probably why it didn't do too well. All right, over here, we've got the baseball cards. And these are the cards that came with the system. This is the starting lineup for the American League. Now these have photos, but the cards that actually came with the uh, cartridges all have artwork. They don't have the uh, photographs for the players. And the teams aren't complete. It's not a full roster. They cut them down a little bit. I think they mostly remove the excess pitching. It's about 20 players per team. Over here, you can see the batting side. You'll get a better look when I put it on the tripod. Which I'm going to do now. I'm going to uh, fade out here. We'll be back on the tripod with the game. All right, before I turn on the game, let me point out a couple things. It's a little wobbly because I put a piece of cardboard under it. It has a built-in plastic and foam piece, but it's 29 years old and the foam kind of flattened. And you need to rotate the game every time you switch sides. So that's why the cardboard's under there. Okay, so we're going to see the lights are going to blink when the pitcher throws the ball 
and you got a few ways to play. You can use beginner, just hit the swing button, or you can try to hit the button, like when the ball's like here, you don't wanna hit the six button. So you try to match it up where it is on home plate on the fifth blink, but before the sixth blink. And if it's less than five blinks, it's a ball. And then you get the base runners that light up when there's someone on base, but you can't see the fielding. The announcer will tell you what's going on, which is kind of the big deal with this game is it has commentary. Just something we didn't see in video games until the early 90s. So these are the cartridge slots. As I mentioned earlier, you know, kind of pop out. There we go. You put a cartridge in there. I like this one. But I'm just going to play with the built in teams, the all star teams. Just while I was filming now, I wanted to have this up before the all star game, the real one, but I had some audio problems. Alright, so the switch goes two ways. To the right, you can coach, and to the left, you can play. Now, coach, essentially, the computer will play itself, pitch and bat, and you just make the managerial choices like substitutions or tell them when to do a squeeze play, something like that. So the speaker's right here, the sound may vary as I rotate the game. I'm gonna turn it on now. Parker Brothers Baseball, it's the national team and the American team. And I'm gonna make some choices here to get it set up. Will there be two players? Put in yes or no. No, there will be one player. The American team is the away team and will bat first. The national team is the home team and will start in the field. Now, to start the game, I'm not gonna play you want to bat game, with just the American team. Maybe two innings. Do you want to change this setup? Yes. Do you want so, to change the team? <laughs> not gonna some could make the video too long. Um, no. Do you want to look at the highest score the national team? through all this, team? or they'll just have me bat for both teams. No. Do you want to look at the lineup for the you American? You can change team? the lineups, but I'm gonna leave them as. They are. No. Do you want to start in the first inning? You could set up game situations, but yes. kind of. Do you, want a fast you can pitch choose game? the inning. A fast pitch, I'm not going to do. Just make it harder to uh, just tell you what's going on. But no. Do you a want more to challenging play with game. one team the whole game? Yes. Do you want to play so for the national is going team? Much faster. No. To start the game, you want to bat with the okay. American team. We got a lot of options for an electronic it's game. We got pinch hitter, the team takes call the, the score, the team tell you what it is. Up. Pinch runner, call a timeout. Henderson leading off. You can bunt, power swing, squeeze, him. steal, go for an extra base. I'll just take this one to strike. strike, strike one. Like I said, you gotta swing between the fifth Pinscher and sixth points. Here we go. Let's try to hit No one game. out in the top no, of the first. A lot of talking. <laughs> Here it comes. Fly ball to center. Right to Davis. They do make errors. He waits. He makes the catch. Oh, he caught that one. one away. And I also have a lineup Manigo. card. Manigo. So can make some substitutions. We'll go with Madden the here now. Wants the sign. Scott takes the sign. He's set. Here it comes. High drive, deep to left. Reigns goes back. He's got it. Two away. Right. Next up, yeah. Boggs. I'll do a pinch hit for Boggs. Just so you can... Uh, Pitcher sure looks like. for the sign. There's going to be a new hitter. Put in the player number of the pinch hitter. Put in George Brett. One, nine, nineteen. Brett, okay. Brett goes in for Boggs. He gets it. He's ready. The pitch on the way. The ball. Inside. Ball one. He looks. He takes it. He sits. Here comes the pitch. Fly ball to center. Right to the He waits. He has it. 
Slide retired. All right, so now we'll rotate to the With pitching the score, side. The American team, nothing. The national team, nothing. The so the for first, pitchers, you get three types of pitches. Fast, curve, and change up. You can also pitch out, throw a pickoff, you just need someone on base, or you can uh, intentionally walk people, call for a relief pitcher, make a defensive substitution, just automatically choose to throw a ball rather than strike. You can call for the infield to move in, again you can ask for the score, there's an instant replay button, you call a timeout. It's all pretty advanced, I'd say, for a 1988 electronic game. And yeah, you don't have television for a video game, you, and you can't control the players, but you know, old games used to just have blinking lights, they didn't tell you anything, you just pressed a couple buttons. All right, so I'm gonna throw a fastball. Now you can tell the ball, like tell the it's computer where to place the final blink. It doesn't really matter against the computer, it's more just trying to confuse the second player. See, it's like you don't know what's going to happen. So you have an extra base button, but it's risky to go for an extra base and you really don't know exactly what's happening, where the ball is. Alright, throw a change it. Oh, he's getting hits. Hopefully I can get you some runs here. With the score, the American team, nothing. The national team, nothing. In the top of the second, the American team coming up. Bell leaving off, hitting 3.08. He takes a long look. He gets the sign. He's set to deliver. Here comes the pitch. Hard line drive to left. Reigns going back fast. It drops him. He chases him down. Picks it up, Bell going for two. The throw goes to Something third. You may notice. Bell in bed with the double. In second base. Yeah, they drew it Next the wrong way. <laughs> it should be uh, turned diagonally there. They did the same thing on the cover of the manual, so I guess it was intentional. I'm not sure why. Swing will take on forever to just strike Scott. out. He's ready. It's Mike Scott that's pitching. The pitch. High drive, deep to left. Reigns goes back fast. He has it. Two away. Next up, Randolph hitting 305. Will you Randolph? We'll do a bunt just to. Scott takes the sign. Pitcher is ready. I don't know if Randolph can beat out a bunt. Here it comes. Sorry. The bunt is on. He gets him down. Clark charges hard. Throws to first. He's out. Okay. Side retired. With the score, the American team. Do a pitching change. The national team. Change. Nothing. With the bottom of the second, the Let's national team have. coming up. See, so yeah, there's four pitching choices, so I think they did just cut out two pitchers. The pitch is on. 
manager was the sign. There's going to be a pitching change. Put in the player number of the new pitcher. Just because I call this one. 2, 8, 28, Saberhagen. Okay? Saberhagen goes in for Clemens. He takes it. He sets the pitch on the way. Line drive single, base hit to left. Bell moves over. He's got it. The throw goes to second. Schmidt gets back. Alright, now Schmidt's not likely to ever steal, but I'll show Next you some up, of the other features. Mark hitting 286. He looks in. He gets it. Pitcher's ready. The throw to first. The runner goes back. The pitcher right, takes try to the take off. I'm going to try to pitch out. He takes the sign. He set the pitch. Pitch out. No one going. All right. He looks in. Just for the heck of it, I'm going to pull the infield in. Infield in. Saberhagen takes it. He sets. Here it comes. Swing in the miss. Strike one. He looks. Infield back. Saberhagen takes it. The pitcher sets. Here it comes. Short fly ball to center. Henderson comes in. He's got it. The throw goes to second. One away. Davis coming up, hitting 293. Okay, Pitcher looks point. for the sign. Saberhagen takes it. He sets. I'm not too much else Here to show you. Long fly ball yeah. deep to right. Winfield goes. He's also a blog entry I wrote. He has it. If you want to get more details or just read away. about it. And get some close-up images, scans of the documentation. Check out the link I leave in the uh, comments. You can go read the blog. There's a lot of other stuff at the blog too. I've been doing that for six months before I launched the uh, YouTube channel. So if you like video games, toys, it's mostly video games right now. Scans of uh, articles and ads from early '90s magazines. So. It might be worth visiting if you want more Back details. Alright, I'm going to end it here. So thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.